Y es cuanto hay dos potimón. Quiero su Cristo, a su manera, es que eso es más a mí. El blog es un tráspeta. En our times, when we are living in the apocalyptic era, that is the time, the last times, the age of the great apostasy, one of the most important topics of discussion for Orthodox Christians relates to the end times. And we are aware that many of the saints prophesied of the last times, um, which is a source of inspiration and strengthening for the people of this era. However, much of these writings exist in their native language, either Greek or Russian, and only a, a small portion of them have been translated into, translated into English. Saint Nicholas the Merstreamer of Mount Athos is one of the prominent saints that prophesied of the last times. All of us are very well familiar with his prophecies. Saint John of Kronstadt <clears throat> spoke at some length concerning the end times. But among all of these saints, the most notable is Saint Cosmas of Etolia. Saint Cosmas of Etolia was a monk from Mount Athos who left the holy mountain and began teaching the Greek people how to live a pious Orthodox life under the Turkish yoke, a very, very difficult period for the Greek nation. And in the course of his preaching, he uttered a prolific number of prophecies, and many of these have been recorded in Greek. A very small portion of them have been translated into English. We are asking Father, Ath Father Athanasius now to share with us his knowledge of these prophecies that he has read in the original Greek, Uh, which are numerous and which we think will be of great benefit to the church. Yes, yes, but that. With that, <coughs> may God bless you. Uh, yes, there are many, many prophecies that St. Cosmas has left. Many of them have been fulfilled already. Many, many. There are still some that we're still waiting for their fulfillment. Uh, for instance, when the Greek people were occupied by the troops, by the barbarian Muslims. They were desiring and longing for the freedom. And very frequently they would ask Saint Cosmas, when will, be, when will the longing be uh, fulfilled? When we will be freed? In one occasion he said, as he was uh, preaching, and there were two trees in front of him, he says, when the two trees come together, When the branches join together, that's when the desirable will happen. And it did. In another instance, uh, he was asked uh, again the same question. And he says, when two Pascales fall together. Now, I'm sure you are aware of what Pascales means. It is uh, called Kiel Pascha, which is the Annunciation and Holy Pascha falling together on the same day. And that is when the uh, Greek uh, population uprised against the Turks mm -hmm. and they gained, they gained their freedom. What year was that? Uh, that was in 1821. And he was saying this year, a hundred years earlier, mm -hmm. in 1771. Amazing. A hundred, a hundred years earlier, yes. There, is many prophecies, there are many prophecies that they are still pending. Uh, There are a few that have to do with the situation in Greece. He was telling people back then to build schools and educate the people uh, because the time, he says, will come that the people will be illiterate. The Greek people will be illiterate in the faith mm. and in, and in uh, grammar uh, education. Secular knowledge. Secular knowledge. It's happening today. Right today, hmm. there are children now in the schools in Greece that they have no knowledge whatsoever at all that back in 1821 our forefathers raised against the Turks. There are children that they do not know that our country was occupied by the Turks for over 400 years. 
And that's what St. Cosmas was talking about. Mm. Uh, another case, he was asked, will the Turks leave? Yes, they will leave, but be aware, they will come back again in his prophecy. Mm. And he says, when they will come back, you will not fight them. You will not be able to fight them. They will take the country over. They will stay there three days, either three months or three years. He says, you will not be able to throw them out of the country, but I advise you to, when you see, it's another army that will come to fight for you. The army that will come, they will believe in Christ, they will not speak your language. And I advise for you to, when you see the army coming, when you see the soldiers coming, as soon as you see them to make your cross, so they don't kill you for Turks. Because we have similar uh, facial features. So, not exactly, but somewhat close. So when you see this army coming, in order for them to distinguish he, to distinguish you that you are not Turks, you are not Muslims, you are Orthodox, you make your cross, so they won't kill you. In another prophecy, he says, uh, uh, just about the same basic, uh, uh, same uh, thing as I said here, but he says, paint the crosses in your forehead. Wherever you go, walk with the crosses in your forehead. So you will be seen and not be killed as uh, uh, Turks. Uh, did did St. Cosmos reveal who that army was? Oh yes, yes. Uh, he said uh, the army will come, uh, it will be the, the blunt race. Mm. The blunt race. Well, the only blunt, blunt race we have is from the north. It's the Russian army. Yes. That's, you know. And... Uh, and uh, that is uh, very, uh, he says, in another case, uh, in another situation, they asked them, how far the Turks will come? They will come all the way by the Examilia. It's a small village outside of Corinth. They will come as far as, he says, Examilia, deep in the heart of Greece. Corinth is the, 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 oh, beyond the heart of Greece, beyond Athens. So they will come as far as they are, but you will not be able to throw them out. When the blunt race army comes, they will chase the Turks for you all the way to the red apple tree. The uh, a territory that is called red apple, apple tree, which is beyond Ankara, way back in the depths of uh, near the borders of Persia. He says that one third of Turks will be killed, one third will be chased back to the uh, uh, depths of uh, uh, Asia, mm -hmm. uh, the red apple tree, and one third will become Orthodox. Hmm. The one third they will believe. At this time, when the, rat, when the blunt army will come, the woman will be chasing the Turks with her with her knitting. Uh, 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 apparatus they were making thread. There is an apparatus that they would put the wool on it and they will pull the wool and spin it. Mm -hmm. And it's called roca. Mm -hmm. And it's just a simple stick. Yes. Yeah. The woman will be chasing the Turks with a roca stick. Mm -hmm. And they will be running from the woman. They will be, they will be so frightened from the orthodox, from, the, from orthodoxy, that they will be running trying to escape the wrath that is coming upon them. Ah. Why, um, many of the prophecies that you've mentioned so far are connected specifically with the expulsion of the Turks. Why was this something so meaningful for the Greeks of the 18th century? Because uh, we were uh, occupied. Uh, there is... Uh, <clears throat> there is a big misconception, and especially here in this country, when people hear of Islam, they have been made to believe that Islam is a faith of peace. Mm -hmm. They have made to believe that Islam is a, it's a good thing. No, mm -hmm. no. 
Islam is not the faith of peace. Orthodoxy is the, the, the faith of peace. Our Lord came and he said, of course, as you know, that's what I, but I'm saying this for the reference. Yes. Whoever wishes to come after me, be with me. Let him deny himself, lift up his clothes and follow me by choice. Our Lord called everyone, you have a choice. The Turkish faith, Islam in general, and Islam in general, it is not like that. Mm -hmm. Islam, is, Islam uh, 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 rules by the sword. Uh, Orthodoxy rules by the cross of the Lord, and Islam rules by the sword of the Prophet. Of the Prophet. Yes. And if and it doesn't give you no choice, you either follow or you get your head cut off. Yes. Uh, we have millions and upon millions of martyrs through the time of the uh, Constantinople's fall all the way until 1821 and in many places in Greece even way past 1921 even in 1923 mm -hmm. uh, massacres through the whole time uh, ravaging, pillaging Murdering, torturing, yes. uh, uh, torturing uh, a woman, taking the babies out of their bellies, mm -hmm. cutting their breasts, oh, taking and defiling the daughters and their wives in front of their husbands, tie up their husbands and the brothers and, and, and defiling their sisters and their wives in front of them, and then murdering everybody. There is nothing peaceful about Islam. God have mercy on us. For we have people here in high offices that they are praising Islam. Mm -hmm. No, Islam is not a faith to be praised. And Saint Cosmas had spoken about that many, many times. Besides many other things, one thing that the Turks did, they were trying to deprive the Greek population from education. Saint Cosmas went to many places, he says, well, since in this place here you have too many churches, but you have no school. Use the church for a school. Educate your children. Educate them in the faith. Educate them in your language. Which was a good thing. They were, they were being taught the faith right inside the church. Why you have, he says, the church is closed. Open them up and make them schools. And another thing he was saying, he says, build big colimithras, big baptismal funds. Says, baptize your children, baptize the adults, because there were many adults not baptized, because the Turks did not allow it. Mm -hmm. So, build big baptismal funds, and make the churches into schools, educate mm -hmm. your children. I believe that uh, St. Cosmas himself suffered martyrdom under the hands of yes. the Turks. Yes, yes, yes. When he's uh, preaching up to the point that the Turks could not stand him anymore. They, uh, well, actually, uh, the Jews of the area instigated the Turks, mm -hmm. and the Turks took the saint and they hung him. They executed him by hanging. Mm -hmm. And then they took his body and they threw it in the river. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was the next day or three days later, the locals, the Orthodox people, they were looking, looking, looking to see where he was, where his body was at. Mm -hmm. And his body was floating in the river, standing straight up. My. Floating down the river and staying straight up. Not laying down, standing, standing position. Glory to God. Glory to God. And they went and collected his body and uh, <clears throat> buried it with honors. Uh, there is another little thing that I have to come back and say here. Please. One more of his prophecies. Please. One of the Turkish Pashas, he was uh, Ali Pasha. He was in uh, Epirus, in Ioannina, where my father came from. Mm. And uh, uh, Saint Cosmas was being uh, very, very, uh, I should say, uh, cautious with Pasha, but he had communication with him. Uh, he was doing this for the safety of the people. 
he was uh, he was uh, playing the role of uh, 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 mediator, mediator mm -hmm. for the people. So Pasha respected it, and he said he was telling him he says, "Don't overburden overburden the people under your rule. Try to be as as, le as lenient as you can with the people. Don't be." Don't be rough with the people. Don't be hard with the people. Mm. Pasha had a fear of Saint Cosmas. Uh, he really respected him. And his wish was to go in Constantinople. Pasha's wish. He says, Yeronda, he says, I want you to tell me, he says one thing. Will I ever go to Constantinople? And he says, yes, he says, you will go. And you will go with red beard. Well, he was white bearded. He says, you will go and your beard will be red. Well, he didn't understand what he was telling them, but he told them the truth. Well, Pasha was executed by his own people. The Turks executed him. And they took his head in a bag and they took it to Constantinople to, uh, to uh, what's the Turks, uh, higher... Uh, Position, sublime port. Uh, Sultan. Ah, yes. To the Sultan. Yes. To the Sultano, they took because Sultano ordered his execution, and they said he said to the executioners, "I want you to bring me his head back in Constantinople." So they took his head back in a bag. We call it trova in Greek, mm -hmm. village bag, and his beard was truly red from the blood that he had stained it. Mm. So this is another prophecy of Saint Cosmas that is you no know, it's yes. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and now it seems that the prophecy of the Turks coming back to Greece seems like um, it's coming to be fulfilled because uh, Greece is going now through some very, very uh, 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 Bad times, turmoil, chaotic times, anarchy, mm -hmm. and this has happened. Uh, for it, it comes from many ways. Uh, there is uh, uh, some of the dark forces. They have said we have to destroy the Greek language and the Orthodox faith. To the Greeks. Well, the language was changed uh, from the beautiful polytonic language. The, it is diminished, it is devaluated to a different language today. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so Greeks today don't speak. What they're speaking on the street is not what you would read in the literature of the church fathers? No, 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 no. If you give someone today a book from the church fathers, they would not know what it means. Okay. They could read the words, but they do not know what they mean, the meaning of the words. That's mm. how bad the illiteracy that St. Cosma said has come. Mm. And the point of the faith also, uh, it has come to the point that uh, people have lost their faith, not all of them, but the great majority they don't care about God. They don't care about the Holy Faith. Uh, another thing that is taking place from the enemies, Greece is fought not so much because it's Greece. Greece is fought because Greece was orthodoxy. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that is happening today, uh, it is being taken over by the Muslims. We have many, many uh, illegals that come in the country, mm -hmm. and they are all Muslims. Mm -hmm. And they all come from Turkey. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily Turks. They are Afghans, Iranians, South Africans, uh, Africans, mm -hmm. uh, Somalians, from all different nations, but they're all Muslims. All Muslims. Among all the illegals, they are all Muslims. There's about five million illegals now in Greece. What is the population of Greece? Uh, almost 10 million. So you're saying half the population? Oh, well, one-fourth of the population today is illegal Muslims. It's an astounding number. Yes. 
they have drained the country. They mm. have weakened the country. And all of what is happening today is, is purposely created and mainly from the Muslims to diminish the country. That's how they're going to gain the country. That's how they're going to take over the country. The country has no finances, has no, uh, uh, no uh, any kind of significant, significant uh, uh, defenses. So, in St. Cosmas's prophecy, it will come to be fulfilled soon that the Turks will come and they will go all the way to Examilia, which is outside of Corinth. Mm. Um, you mentioned to us in our discussions earlier this week that in order to learn about these things, which are largely hidden from the American populace, which are largely hidden um, by the American news media, um, a person actually needs to be watching Greek television, Greek news. It's not even, well, for the news, yes, yes. But for St. Cosmas' uh, writings, uh, no one, nothing is even mentioned in Greece. There is only a few books existing, and I happen to have two books, actually. And uh, uh, whatever they were printed out, I don't think the printing presses are printed anymore of these books. Yes. And I happen to have two of these books. Uh, some of these prophecies, they have been translated in English, but a small portion of it. Mm -hmm. not, not the full prophecy, a small portion of it. And that is, again, done purposely. It is done so the people will not be educated of what is taking place around them. Purposely, purposely kept blind, in one word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have to educate as, ma as much as we can. We have to educate uh, all the people as much as we can so they learn of these prophecies, so they know what is coming. Uh, I think... Um, many people, many of the holy fathers that have passed, the older bishops, also they were saying that when this prophecy comes to be fulfilled, the third world, world war will come with it. Mm. And that's, we are talking end times, we're talking critical times. When Turkey arises like that against Greece, it's not, it's not going to only arise against Greece. Is going to rise against Bulgaria, Romania, uh, possibly other continents around, mm -hmm. and that's somehow uh, we don't know how, but Russia will intervene. But when Russia will intervene, uh, I guess the third world will be in process, or will be already in process, or well, just the number of countries you mentioned thus far are already significant. Yes. Towards yes. a world war. So that's what they were saying, that when this prophecy comes to be fulfilled, the third world war will come with it, mm. or close to it, which is very significant. Yes, it is. Yes. God preserve us. I mean, I mean, that's what I Father, thank you for sharing these stories with us. Very welcome, that's what I'm. We look thank forward you to you much. translating that book. Yes, yes. I will translate the prophecies, yes. Thank you. Everybody better.